We all drove here, right? Nobody walked. And of course, that uh, we all have AC in the car, right? Oh, you don't? I don't. Holy. I don't. You're a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> We have one. AC is broken. AC. Oh, my AC is broken. Okay. For those uh, who still have AC working, you still can feel it, right? Very nice, cool, and very, very comfy. As soon as you walk out of the car, you experience the heat right away, right? And uh, just a little bit checking on uh, in the car, it feels so nice. But when you walk out of the car, the temperature is, let's say, about 20 degrees different. Do you realize that? Some, some say yes, some say no. You realize that, you, 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 you know the difference. Yes, you know the difference. Uh, perhaps uh, that would be a nice way to get into uh, uh, Spinoza. Um, I have a little confession. I used to really look down on the Western philosophy, but I was totally, totally wrong. Uh, well, until someone that really pinpointed that uh, I was wrong. So, uh, in the uh, Friars tradition, uh, uh, you have uh, Abhidharma, which is Buddhist psychology, or Hinduism, they have uh, Vedanta, which is really, really deep stuff stuff and uh, same thing with Spinoza say mind and matters are just aspect of the third kind um, that's what I'm getting into and uh, before we can find out what mind and mother matters are um, you know, our, our whole world are right in front of us. The whole cosmos, even the whole cosmos, it's not that very far at all. Um, so now we can break it down to go into it a little bit so we can see and uh, uh, I'm using an apple for, for the example. First of all, we have the eye. Looking at the apple, what you really see is that you have the shape and the color. Are there anything else? So the concomitant with the eyes is the external object, which is the shape and the color. That's all. That's it. That's it. You can go in, into a little more detail about, uh, about the apple, but you know, uh, you cannot get away with shapes and color. That's all. Uh, the pencil, uh, the eraser, shapes and color in concomitant with the eyes. So any object 
uh, a certain object uh, with the eyes, then you, all you have is shape and color, that's it. And then you go to the ear. When you bite into the apple, you make the sound crunchy. The crunch is the sound. And the sound, uh, which is no more than the volume and velocity. Such a thing like that. So when you're talking, when 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 you're talking about the sound, then you have that much. That's all. Very simple. But then you go to the nose. You have to smell. An apple has a distinctive smell of an apple. And you go to the tongue, you have taste. And you go to the texture, when you rub it, it's smooth. And then the stem is a little bit rough, at the end it's a little bit rough. So, so you can have the texture of, of the hardness texture or the softness texture. So your whole world are no other than such a thing like this one. Look at around, you know, look at around everywhere that you go, you, you're gonna see this an old thing, that's it. And these are, all of these, we call matter. All of this, you can really feel it. You can really uh, 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 the tangi tangi uh, tangibility of it. You can really feel that. Like but then, what what about the mind? First of all, in order in order to to have this manifested you must have you must have perception before everything else you must have a perception you perceive an object you perceive the shape, the color, you perceive the volume, the velocity, you perceive the smell, the taste, the texture. And not only that you are, you perceive, you have to distinguish. The distinguish, uh, that makes uh, make a, 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 a special mark on each object. If you cannot distinguish between the, an apple and, and, and an eraser, then there must be something wrong. So the, the distinction is right there, too. Is there something else? There are more to it too, but let's stop this right there because I can go on too. But all of these, these are the perceptions, the distinction, are the mental factor of the mind.
the 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 the, the, the product of the mind. These things right here are the products of the mind. But what is, what about the third kind? What are we talking about when we call the third kind? Um, I'm going to have a lot of examples today. Before we go on, please make a little uh, exercise and see that if you can pinpoint, okay? You know all about the uh, mind chattering, the mind narrative. Uh, they all, they, there's not uh, uh, anything else but the sound, the voice within your mind. That's all. So uh, I'm going to ask you, close your eyes and just say what I say mentally. Just say what I say mentally, okay? And then observe that. Let's see what is going on. Very simple. Ready? I go home. Do you mentally say that? You did? Okay. Open your eyes. Can I have to report back of, of, of what we just did? Can you really observe what is going on in that exercise? It's okay, there's no grade on, on, on the quiz. Are you leading us? <laughs> it's like you're leading, you're leading us. I'm, I'm leading you, but, but, but you have to observe what is going on within your mind. I'm observing going home. <laughs> <laughs> when I say I go home, you say mentally I go home. That's all in your mind. But you observe what is going on. That's what I'm, I'm trying to find out. I saw an image and I had a feeling. F image and a feeling. Okay. Mm -hmm. Image and a feeling. Okay. I felt myself. It's my anchor in your eye. You feel anchor your eye? Starting somewhere. But, but, but did you say that I go home mentally within mm -hmm. your, okay. Mm -hmm. What is your observa observation on that? That's what I'm heading to. Uh, I kind of story in my head. Okay. I was making a journey mentally to. Uh, okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay, please. Um saying something in my mind, it makes me aware that I am not my mind. We're going to that. But right now we try to go into the entry level so everyone can recognize that what it is. Okay. Very simple. I should love to be a Spinoza, but okay. The the uh, the exercise is to say I go home, right? And it's extremely simple. Is that <coughs> when you when you have to recite it within your mind, and you say I go home, but you pay real attention, you pay real attention, the eyes start, and there is a, what? Not a slur, a 
space. And then you start with the go, and then there is another space right there. That is what's happening. I go home. The I stop. Space. Go. Stop. Space. Home. Stop. That's what's happening within your mind. And this is the mind, the very superficial level of the mind. But not only on that one. The mind doesn't go in a linear way like that. But it goes like this. For instance, this is the screen. When I say I, you repeat it mentally, I. The position of the word, I. And then when you stop, it's gone. There's nothing else, completely blank. And then say, go, bam. It's getting on there. It appears on there. And then you stop, when you stop, gone. Completely empty again. Then home. That's how the mind start. Layer by layer. Just like that, uh, if you are into the pictures, uh, in, into the movies, there are 17 frames uh, uh, per, uh, per second. Exactly that's what happened. One frame appear, gone, given place for the next frame coming on. That's what the mind is. And all of that, all of that, all of that, you know, you are aware of that. The knowing, the awareness is the third kind. When Spinoza said, the third kind. The knowing, the awareness. Just like that when you, you're in the car, you feel very comfy. When you walk out of the car, the heat, and then you feel discomfort, you, when I ask you, do you know that? Yes, I know. You know the comfy, you know the discomfort, you know the differences uh, with, uh, in, the, in, in the temperatures. You know the knowing doesn't change the quality at all. The quality of the knowing does not change at all. This is fundamental, primordial, ontological baseline of everything. We are breaking down every, you know. And uh, if you recognize that right now, you are halfway to heaven already. Yes, because, because once you realize this, there's nowhere else. There's no way else that you can uh, uh, you can have a different kind of uh, kind of perspective other than this. And uh, right now there are two uh, 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 two mainstreams. Uh, the uh, the scientific mainstream is that for the matter. And then the philosophical mainstream is for the mind. And that's it. That's it. There's nothing else. Try to break it down from the whole universe to a, uh, to a black hole, to a galaxy, to, uh, to the star, to the earth, uh, to the particle. Uh, to an atom, to subatomic particles, they all matters. And then all of that we can perceive by the mind. And all of that by, uh, by the, the, the uh, uh, we can call the mind is an apparatus. 
because it is happen within the uh, the main the uh, main uh, subjectivity, which is consciousness, which is the knowing. So we know everything, and this is this is all. This is all that we are. Yes. I still wrestle. How does consciousness differ from mental? Oh. There's a distinction you mentioned. Yes. 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 The, uh, the mentality, the, uh, the mentation is the dance. Uh, let's say that uh, uh, you perceive. Let put it this way. It's easier when you sad. It's a quality of sadness. When you're happy, the quality of happiness. Uh, when you compassion, that they are all different qualities. Those are mental uh, factors. They belong to the mind, and and and, and because of, because of the impermanence of those, are you happy forever? No. Are you sad forever? No. Are you compassionate forever? No. They come and go, come and go. And all of that, when they come, you know. When they go, you know. What's left? The knowing. That is the consciousness. That is the, 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 the basic subjective uh, uh, of all beings. And like I said, that uh, some, some some of the biggest names in uh, in meditation or such and such, uh, they always uh, ascertain that once you hit that, you're halfway to heaven. It's not heaven up there. No, 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 no. You're halfway to liberate yourself. And uh, earlier today, that we have a little bit discussion about liberation. It just, it just, a state of uh, 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 non-attachment. That's all. You're not attached. You're free. So simple. You don't have to go up there. But let's say that before you go up there, you have to first, and nobody wants that. So you can experience right here in the state of uh, uh, non-attachment. And beginning with with the third kind. Uh, I don't know if I'm so I'm, I'm clear on that or yes. Yeah, I have to admit I'm not clear on that. Could you explain again what the third kind is? I'm sorry. Okay. Um, there are so many names and uh, different person, different people, they call it a different name. You know, in Buddhism, they call it Buddha nature. Uh, uh, um, Bernardo Katrup, he used variety of names uh, to, to pay that uh, the, the main subjectivity of, uh, of all kinds, such a thing. Um, the uh, Hinduism, they call uh, the self. There are so many names, but but they all pointed to to the same thing. Um, the thing that underlines of all of all things. So, in my language, is it is it the mental that is permanent? No, mental is impermanent. Uh, uh, if uh, if if you are using the, sometimes you know you. Uh, uh, you use it synonymously uh, if if you if you prefer that uh, the mind as the third kind, then it's okay. Right. It, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. You just strip away all the all the permanence and the, the, the running basso continuo beats. That yes, yes, yes. The the, the uh, uh, seamless flowing, mm -hmm. Sim you know, seamless flowing, uh, uh, boundless, limitless such a thing like that. Uh, they all, they all, you know, uh, point to this. And uh, once you break it down, such a thing, and once you understand it, oh, I, I, I saw, I'm sorry, I haven't uh, answered your question yet. Uh, 
<laughs> are you are uh, well, what are you right now? Yeah. What, what what kind of mental state are you right now? I guess that's the way. Let, let me ask you a question. It is the first time, like your vision and your hearing, when that, is the first time? Okay, okay, those are not. But do you know, you know that what is what is going on, right? I know what's going on. That knowing is, is, is it. That knowing is it. Now, you put away the eye. When you say, uh, when I ask you, then you say that yes, I know what's going on. Now you put the, you put away the eye, and then there's the only, the state of knowing, and the object. What is going on? I know what is going on. The knowing is the third time, right there. Put away the eye. What is going on is the subject. Any, anything that's going on is the subject of the third kind. It's like the same as consciousness or being aware. You can use that, yes. Thing. Same thing, being aware. You are aware of what is going on. You can use that word too. Good enough. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like they all go together, yeah? They, I can't have right. the conscious that's it. without that's it. having, that's without it. having a, one that's or it. two words. That's it. So uh, I'm, I'm, then I'm getting to the part of where we, we I, I, I'll speak for myself, I understand. But then I forget. <laughs> <laughs> And the forgetting is a very long time. That's why I'm not in heaven. No. <laughs> These two things, you cannot separate them. You cannot, you can never separate them. Um, if you die, you perish, then you can separate them. But as, as long as you're still alive, you, you are awake, then these two things, you cannot separate them. Um, because if without this, you cannot discern what is going on. Without this, then all of this is useless. Because you don't know anything. Now, don't, don't, don't get confused uh, between the discernment and the knowing. Those, those, those two are two different qualities completely two different qualities. Um, uh, it's, you know, when I start uh, setting foot to the forest, I have a great aspiration uh, when I was 13, that uh, there was something that you know really bugged me about life, uh, and as it went on, I uh, I forgot completely about that. But until until that uh, undesirable uh, 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 relationship happened, and then it just like a awakening bell that. Uh, I have to go back uh, to uh, find the uh, the path, the spirituality, to cure my suffering. So I set foot uh, to the forest to study. Um, of course, the different tradition they they they, they teach you different method, but uh, well, I was lucky that I. Uh, I'm exposed to uh, to different traditions, and uh, what I can tell you right now is that 
you don't have to go that far. You don't have to sit on uh, in an airplane for so many hours and then endure with unbearable heat over there. It's it's really hot. It's, <laughs> it's just and and then you have to do a lot with uh, mental stressness. Sometimes I was so bored. Now I'm talking about experience uh, while I was there. Okay. I was so bored and I don't know what to do. There's nothing, nothing to entertain at all. Uh, over there, it's extremely hot. Um, so uh, took off my shirt, put on a wet towel in the back, and then you have to sit with a mosquito net. Mm -hmm. You cannot sit without a mosquito net. It's a jungle. The mosquito is just like a, like a, 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 a flying dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what to do. So I play with the mosquito. I play with it. Just put my hand against the, 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 the mosquito net. Very soon, one or two will come. But I don't let it, you know, uh, bet me. When it's just about to bet, I move. <laughs> and then mosquito follow me, move, follow me, move, follow me. <laughs> Up until some point, the mosquito got tired of me. So it flew away. But there's some, <laughs> the other one coming. And then I play again. I keep playing with that for hours. That's my entertainment during I was there. <laughs> So anyway, the different method, no other than mind and consciousness. That's all, that's all. Trust me on this one. You don't have to go that far. You don't have to spend much money and then uh, uh, stay here, enjoy food, but you still, you, you, you still experience the, uh, the uh, if, uh, you know, uh, the fundamental of all beings here, right here, as you experience it. And that's why I emphasize on the experience, not too much of, of, of the Buddhist doctrines or such, such, such a, uh, everything is right here already. You don't have to go anywhere else. It happened within your uh, your sixth sense door. That's it. And then you can experience it. And behind the experience, there is the knowing, the awareness. And once you get a hint of it, once you really, I mean really touch it, really touch it, you're halfway to liberation. I guarantee you that. Uh, maybe I can go back to, uh, or you can say something about the experience of sitting, and then we can discuss more about the uh, the mentality, such and such. Uh, you know, during the half an hour sitting, uh, what is going on within within your mind? Can you share about? My, my entertainment is the stories I have. So if I'm going to sit here for 20 minutes, I'm just going to go through each story over and over again. Good. You know? So I have good session. But I also wanted to say, being a monk, you remove a lot of those desires. So when you remove a lot of desire and attachments, I think I could understand the conscious more. Mm -hmm. But when I live here, I have so much desire and so much attachments. So my mind, I'm stuck so much in the mind. Are you aware of that? Not for long. Not for long. Because but the mind the mind is stronger than the conscious. Okay. So okay. <laughs> okay. Then use this word. So what? 
whatever is happening, so what? That's it. Your attitude is whatever, whatever happening. You know, uh, a couple of days ago, I, 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 I held on my crutch against uh, some other monk. <laughs> Couple of days, not only, not not in one day, not only a couple of hours, a couple of days. But then, so what? Now, when that's gone, when that is gone, you you are back to uh, uh, equanimity. When when that. Uh, uh, crumpy is gone. You go back to equanimity. So what? So what with that equanimity? When you're happy, so what? With that happiness. When you're sad, so what? Can you see the detachment of all? Just, just, just with so what? It doesn't matter that uh, you held the, 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 the crutch for two months. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. As long as when it's gone, so what? That is, that is the art. The art of doing, uh, doing nothing to everything. The art of doing nothing to everything. You don't hang on. Um, um, why is it happening? Why is it happening? Because it has been preset from the background already. You cannot avoid it. You cannot avoid what is happening because it has been preset. It has been planned earlier already. If you don't have that, then that would not happen at all. If you don't in the past, you don't have that seed, then it cannot grow out at all. But but you already had that seed from the subconsciousness. Then sooner or later, or or, or uh, in the right condition, it's gonna pop out. When you understand that, so what? It's very simple. But do you try to guide yourself back? Yes, go, you're going back to the zero. Okay. You're going back to the zero. You don't, you don't, no you, regret. No right, regret. You don't get upset that you're telling yes, the story yes. to yourself. You just slowly. Yes, leave. yes, yes. And uh, uh, what happens if you are unmindful? So what? So what? Well, mm -hmm. when you're unmindful, it's okay. But when that state, what the state of mindfulness is over, you go back to being mindful, so what? So you have that kind of attitude that you get, don't get attached to, er, to anything. And, and, and one more thing, don't expect that you're gonna be uh, equanimous all the times. Don't expect that. It's not gonna happen. You're gonna, you're gonna have a whole lot of uh, 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 mental emotions, you're going to have a lot of that. But each mental emotion is a natural state of the mind. And the mind happens, the mind is a dance of the third kind of the consciousness. That's all. Remember that. So there's no you that uh, made it happen. Let's say that uh, once in a while, I I I I uh, I've, uh, have talked uh, to this kind uh, of once in a while while I offering the incense to the Buddha to the patriarch, and then there was a cat lying there, and then I have a thought of I'm going to poke incense and burn an incense into the cat. Where that could come from? Yes, yes. So it. It happens. It happens. So. I mean, this is the to emphasize the mind is our tool. It's 
and oh, it's not always appropriate. Not always appropriate. Yeah. So not always. Uh, only some some mental faculties, which is uh, you know, uh, uh, neither uh, good nor nor bad. <laughs> then uh, we use that as as a, a tool for saying such a thing because of let's say the perception, perception and uh, and and uh, distinction. A monk has perception and distinction, right? Yeah. Same thing with Butler. <laughs> Butler has the same thing, but <laughs> but different purpose. That's all. The, the monk used the perception and 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 uh, and this distinction for 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 a purpose of uh, liberation. But the Butler used that for the purpose of getting looted. Do uh, if you have some comprehension or insight during meditation. Oh yes. Because you know, do I do I I want to unravel? I want to start. Hmm, interesting. But then I'm like, oh wait, 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 is that bad? Is that good? Do I. But I'm always afraid if I put it away and I'm attached to it, I might be gone. Um, um, we all we all are going. Uh, we are all gone in the same direction of that of such. Um, the insight happened once in a while, happened once in a while, but uh, the true insight is not. It 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 takes it takes uh, uh, let's say the fifty times before you you can get the true insight. So because of deep down inside the the coming of uh, the ego that gave you the result and uh, the, z the result is very similar but it's only the side effect mm -hmm. yes it's not quite until that uh, until that you there is no other uh, remedy anymore there is no when you when your mind has no more remedy, when your mind has no more goal, once in a while, I'm, I'm saying once in a while, and then that true insight happened. And that is the real, reliable one, instead of uh, instead of uh, uh, the uh, the cleverness of the mind. The cleverness of of the self, the ego, that gave you the answer. Oh, this is it. So, watch out. Uh, quite often, when you know, you you have a good meditation, you have a good session, or you sometimes you, you know, I use the word invent invention. Sometimes you might invent something, and you it looks so good, it looks so you know worthy. And then you report to the grandmaster and say, "Rubbish." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, many many times before that uh, you can really have have a true insight. So what do you do? You just let it flow past. <sighs> Don't get attached to it because of uh, because of uh, um, beside the normal. Beside the normal uh, 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 mental functioning, there are different aspects, you know, hidden deep in you know, the deep down of. Now I'm talking only the mind, not 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 the consciousness. Sometimes that you, uh, anyone has used psychedelic, yeah. almost. Uh, yeah. Almost, it gave you a delusion. It gave you a delusion that uh, you're here, but you your body is here, but your mind is up there. And then, the without you know psychedelic, the mind can really do that. Really, really do that. It's just like that. It's very easy. Very easy that uh, you can uh, subside the um, uh, 
the normal activity of the mind that will happen when you subside the normal activity of the mind then the hidden level of, of, of such a kind such a mental state arises and then you can experience it right away try it <laughs> sometimes sometimes I was sitting on the wall and I'm not sitting here I'm sitting on the wall <laughs> <laughs> and there, there are so many other things, you know, the mind can, you know, deceive you. And um, luckily that uh, we have the consciousness which knows everything. During that state, it doesn't matter how, how hype you are, you still know it. It's, it, it takes only uh, a couple of you know, a couple of shot of tequila, and then you can start feeling funny already. And you still know it. In, in, in a conscious state, as of right now, you know. And then you take a couple of shots of, uh, you know, Hennessy, you start feeling funny, you know. That known experience, that, that knowing doesn't change the quality at all. That is the fundament, fundamental of all beings. It's right there. Anything else? I think we've had a close encounter with the third kind. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Almost <laughs> third encounter with the third kind. With the third kind. Yes, yes. That that's a good a good progress right there. Okay. May you attain the third kind. The one that uh, unravel everything. Uh, the subjectivity which lies, you know, within you will move forward so you can recognize it. And as I say, once you touch that, halfway of liberation is right there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.